many possibilities you can do. And the newest gadgets on the market are not always the best. First, as preface, I have to admit that I'm addicted to microscope dentistry. And uh, why do I like to use the microscope easy? It offers a completely new view on something we always thought we know how it looks like. But honestly, if you go with an unaided eye, you don't know what it looks like. And if you work with the microscope for a distant time, you can't go back never ever again. Um, it's not only for me, it's for the quality, for the sake of the patient, and with the documentation, it's easy. If I have to document the cases for myself or to show the patient his pathology or the way how we did solve it for professional education of colleagues or to share cases, to be capable of learning and getting better, you need a decent documentation. And it was never so easy as in our days today. And this was a lecture about a workshop about three hours. And basically, we were not ended. We just scratched the top of the iceberg. A discussion about different concepts, different philosophies, because you know, in endodontics and dentistry, especially, there is no only one way leading to Rome. There are many approaches, many possibilities you can do. And the newest gadgets on the market are not always the best. We have real level materials, we know they work since decades. So, I personally don't see a big need for a big change. Of something because it changed when newer material is always associated with higher costs. And we are not sure that paying higher costs for a material brings us the same in the race of the outcome for a patient. So basically, stick to the used one. I usually wait for five years before I introduce something very, very new in my office. <laughs>